This story isn't about taking sides. It's about our economy and our future. The fact is, air pollution isn't free. Left unchecked, it will cause unprecedented global damage. But in many countries, carbon emitters pump greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere at no cost. The bill for the damage comes to all of us in the form of threats to public health, food and water shortages, storm damage, and overall uncertainty in the marketplace. This is unsustainable. But addressing this issue creates opportunity when polluting has a price, efficiency and innovation are rewarded. Whether we tax it, set up emissions trading systems, or regulate it, carbon pricing is good for business and good for people. We save money by maximizing energy efficiency. We spur innovation in renewable energy, manufacturing, and transportation. We build smart, livable cities, and we create jobs. Businesses, cities, states, and countries are already putting these solutions to work. By implementing a carbon tax, British Columbia reduced emissions and cut taxes for its citizens. Morocco set a renewable energy target and reduced its energy subsidies. As a result, its renewable energy investment grew sixfold, enabling Morocco to become an innovation hub for solar power. California expects to collect billions from emissions permit fees, which will then be invested in clean energy and low carbon development. And China is testing seven emissions trading systems locally, with the intention to expand nationally. Since 2005, carbon markets have expanded across the world. Momentum for meaningful carbon pricing is growing. Now we need businesses and governments to lead together for our health, our economy, and our future. Join us.